Welcome to Herald of Glory Devotional. Today is Wednesday, July 13, 2022. The Father's Word says, You have escaped the corruption in the world. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4 reads, Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. The world as we have it today has been corrupted. Corruption in our opening verse means depravity or destruction. This is not the way God made it to be. It has become depraved because there is a law of destruction at work in the world called the law of death. But the Apostle Paul, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, says, For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. This is in Romans chapter 8 verse 2. You live by the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Hence, you have escaped the corruption that is in the world. Our theme scripture says that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. The spirit through Peter the apostle lets us know that the cause of corruption is lust. Lust is craving after something that is forbidden. The Greek word is epithemia. That was what Eve did in the Garden of Eden. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and the tree to be considered to make one wise. This is in Genesis chapter 3 verse 6. It was pleasant to her. She liked it. But there was a law against it. God said, don't eat it. The desire after something that is forbidden is the last that has introduced the law of depravity into the world. Pastor says, in Christ Jesus, you have escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Whereas sickness, death, darkness and depravity are plethoric in the world, health, life, light and righteousness work in you. Refuse to desire or accept anything that seems to suggest you are still in the corrupted state that you are in lack or still imperfect have the consciousness that all things that pertain to life and godliness have been granted to you hallelujah kindly make this prayer after me dear father i thank you for my glorious life in christ jesus the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death i have escaped the corruption the depravity and the decadence in the world through lust. I am perfected in Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. As a reflection, make some time today to talk to the Holy Spirit. Go further and affirm the realities of your new birth in Christ Jesus as the Word says. Prayerfully meditate on 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 23 and John chapter 17, verse 14. The Herald of Glory devotional Every day is a perfect day. Pastor Julius Glorified Christ Lord, heralding the glorious church.